battling wedding decision fatigue and your wedding weekend questions answered. That's coming up next on the Wedding Planning Podcast. Why, hello there. It's Kara, and thank you so much for joining me in this week's brand new episode of the Wedding Planning Podcast. We're going to talk about wedding decision fatigue. So, to get us started in today's conversation, raise your hand if any of these points apply to you. This morning, I drank coffee or tea or wine with the dog and I cried because we can't find a photographer for under $4,000. Here's another one. How are there 487,888 options for wedding favors on Etsy? And my friend, that's a very real number. When I plugged in wedding favors on Etsy, that is exactly how many search results came back. How that's possible, I don't know. Next real life wedding scenario submitted by a bride to be. My fiance thinks we don't need a DJ because his cousin can run a playlist on a speaker for us. Side note, I feel strongly that we definitely need a DJ. And another one after reaching out to 11 venues, we still haven't found the one and I'm starting to worry we may not find anything that works for our date and our budget. That's a very real concern. And then last one, why on earth didn't we just elope in 2020 or 2021? If you can relate to any of these real life wedding scenarios that were submitted by listeners, then you're probably very familiar with wedding decision fatigue. There are so many overwhelming options in front of you that it's literally impossible to choose. And we find ourselves getting paralyzed by all these options. What if we choose the wrong one? What if there's a better option out there that we just haven't found yet? What if we're being ripped off? What if we don't even need this product or service at all? But like it or not, that's what wedding planning forces us to do, to make a million small and big decisions over the course of our engagement, hopefully resulting in a magical wedding day that you're relaxed and fully present to enjoy. The problem is that most couples slog through their engagement, making those million decisions from a place of overwhelm, using willy-nilly guesswork, and wedding fatigue, aka that feeling of I'm so over it that I don't even care anymore. And in this state, by the final month and weeks before wedding day, they are so exhausted that the wedding they worked so hard to plan comes and goes in a complete blur. I've seen thousands of weddings unfold over 11 years in the wedding industry, and all of them together in some have given me the priceless gift of hindsight. In wedding planning, hindsight is literally a superpower. So I've packaged mine up to share with you inside a brand new free video workshop titled How to Plan an Unforgettable Wedding Weekend. Inside this totally free 50-minute strategy session, we'll review six easy steps to designing an unforgettable once-in-a-lifetime wedding celebration for you and all of your loved ones. You'll also get your hands on some pretty amazing bonuses, including a guided coaching session to help you design your overall wedding vision, 50 budget line items that most couples totally forget about, a free wedding weekend sample itinerary, and last but certainly not least, the chance to win some awesome free swag in weekly drawings that I'm going to be hosting over the next 10 days. But you've got to hurry because how to plan an unforgettable wedding weekend is in its final week and will not be available again until next year. To sign up today and enjoy this free workshop and bonus planning resources, simply visit weddingweekend.co. You'll see exactly how couples like you are grabbing the opportunity to spend not just one, but two, three, four, or even more days surrounded by their closest loved ones by designing a wedding weekend celebration full of fun and memorable events. This can be done on any budget, big or small, and does not have to take hours of time or loads of stressful planning. 
Coming up after a quick break, I have your wedding weekend planning questions to share from the lucky couples who have already seen the workshop, and I'll be back in just a minute. Thankfully, there's almost always a workaround to going to the store these days, and shopping for your wedding day men's formal wear with Generation Tux is no exception. You can design the perfect suit or tuxedo, get free color swatches delivered right to your door, and even get a free home try-on for the wedding couple, all without ever stepping foot into a loud and crowded tuxedo rental store. Choose from over 25 suits and tuxedos and hundreds of accessory options to build the perfect look for your wedding day. You'll also have access to their award-winning customer experience team for tips, style, and trend advice, and to help answer questions about the fitting process. Everything arrives on the doorstep of all the party members 14 days before the wedding. This way, if anyone has any fit issues, they'll ship replacements for free. Get a free suit or tuxedo rental for the wedding couple with five paid members in your wedding party. And after the wedding, you'll simply put everything back into the box, attach the prepaid shipping label, and drop it off at UPS within three days of your event. Get started today and build your look at generationtux.com. Susan's Travel Services is so excited to partner with you to plan your honeymoon, destination wedding, or maybe even your bachelor or bachelorette party. Travel and new experiences are incredibly special to me personally, and earlier this year, Susan helped me plan an unforgettable bachelorette party for my sister Kate and five of our best friends. Her team meticulously researched the best all-inclusive options for us based on some very specific priorities, and we ended up at a luxurious resort in Los Cabos, Mexico, and needless to say, we had the time of our lives. Best of all, Susan has been in the business for 27 years, and let me tell you, she walks the walk. She personally travels to all of her recommended destinations all the time, so she has firsthand on-the-ground experience with all of the amazing resorts, excursions, and services that she recommends. From all-inclusive resorts in Mexico and the Caribbean, to overwater bungalows in the Maldives, or that African safari you've always dreamed of, save yourself hours of research and guesswork and let Susan and her team find you the best deals on this once-in-a-lifetime vacation. Reach out to Susan and her team today by emailing info at susanstravelservices.com and be sure to let her know that I sent you for $50 off your final booking or $100 off your destination wedding. That email again is info at susanstravelservices.com. Welcome back and let's dive into the top three questions that have been submitted by couples who have enjoyed the free wedding planning workshop that I mentioned at the beginning of the show. And question number one, really good one. Do you have any tips for trying to pace our events so that we don't feel overwhelmed during our weekend? We're looking to host a casual welcome party, ceremony and reception, and a champagne brunch on Sunday. So here's the thing. Ironically, planning for enough downtime in between events is one of the most challenging aspects of planning multiple events over multiple days over your wedding weekend. So taking the time to build out a complete wedding weekend vision is your critical first step. And we walk through that complete process inside the how to plan free workshop. You'll find that all laid out in bonus number one. Revisit that bonus number one, how to design your wedding weekend vision, and run through that with the intention of creating enough relaxing and downtime at the forefront of your mind so that you can really prioritize and see that and focus on that as you listen to that guided walkthrough. Maintaining a calm mindset of being present, relaxed, and totally confident that you've got everything perfectly under control is the number one key to any wedding day. And even more so when we're talking about three or four days of pre-parties and events. I'll say right now, overwhelm is your enemy. And that's not to say that you're not going to experience feelings of stress and anxiety at all during your engagement. 
I think that's safe to say that's inevitable. Of course you will, because planning a wedding celebration can be incredibly overwhelming. But the thing is, we want to have the tools and the checks and balances in place in the weeks and months leading up to your wedding weekend so that once it rolls around, you are able to fully relax and to know that you've got every single last thing planned for and prepped for. And yes, back to your question full circle, that includes plenty of time to be completely turned off, resting, relaxing, and simply enjoying the celebration that you worked so hard to plan. Next question, and this came in from dozens of you, but I'm going to summarize it in this one. It kind of hits all the points. My fiance and I have totally different visions for how to stock our own bar across some pre-parties and the wedding reception. He wants to basically create a top shelf situation with all the liquors and mixers, and I see more of a simplistic setup of beer, wine, and maybe a signature cocktail. Your thoughts? This is a wonderful question, and it's also a huge topic that I have a ton of detailed information and firsthand experience in, but we're going to nutshell this answer just to get you started. Now, it's not my style, and if you're a longtime listener, I know I don't need to say it, but it's not my thing to tell you how you should or shouldn't do anything regarding your wedding celebration. But here's a list of the top mistakes that I see couples make over and over again when they're setting up their own bar. And then given that, I'll let you take from it what you will. Mistake number one is providing too many options. It's expensive. There's a ton of waste and just too much guesswork and trying to gauge exactly how much of what everyone will want to drink and then multiply that by two, three, or four pre-parties and events, that's a lot to take on. The fewer the options, the more control you have. It's that simple. Mistake number two is miscalculating ice, cups, and mixers. And add to that just a general miscalculation of exactly what everyone gravitates to. I don't know why, I don't know what the universal law is that causes this to happen, but it's inevitable that you're going to have a rush on the most random, obscure drink that you didn't think anyone would be that interested in, and you'll run out of it in a flash. And that really ties back into our mistake number one, which is offering too many options. They're kind of go hand in hand there. And then mistake number three in stocking your own bar is not maintaining proper control over pour sizes, quantities, and extra inventory. This results in very drunk guests, in running out of things, and a general sense of chaos behind the bar. And then mistake number four, there are many more, I've just chosen four to share here, and this is actually a sneak peek into our next question, trying to please everyone almost always backfires. It creates added stress, expense, and it almost never works. So given those four highlighted mistakes, see if you can sit down with your fiance and run through those and run through the scenarios in your head as you create your wedding vision, walk through it from the point of view of stocking your bar, and then kind of see what unfolds in front of you and then you can go from there. And last question for today, how can I get over feeling like we need to please everyone? It's making me feel paralyzed, especially since we decided to plan a welcome party in addition to everything else. As the host, I want to accommodate everyone the best we can, but with 64 guests, that feels impossible and it's stressing me out. Take a pause and take a deep breath. I'm going to assume that you're not the type of person who would show up as a guest at someone else's wedding and have an adult temper tantrum because they don't have the exact variety of red wine that you prefer to drink. You might wish they had Pinot, but they don't. And so for tonight, Cab Sav is going to have to do. Will you have guests who wish you had spicy margaritas at the bar and 24-7 on-call transportation? babysitting services all lined up, and a unique paleo meal option at all four of your main events? 
Yes, I bet you will. And as the gracious host of the most amazing celebration of your life up to this point, all of those little concerns, that's simply not your problem to take on and be stressed out about and be helplessly trying to solve over the next months and weeks and especially during your wedding weekend. You cannot please everyone, so aim to honor your wedding vision, aim to be a gracious and thoughtful host, and that's really the best you can do. I know your guests are going to appreciate the time and thought and energy that you put into planning in the same loving way that you will appreciate their presence, even if it means that someone has to drink something that wouldn't be their number one top choice. I hope that makes sense, and it's a pretty simple answer, but please take it to heart because it can be the game changer in the way that you are able to enjoy your wedding celebration as it unfolds. All right, that wraps up our show today. If you haven't already taken advantage of how to plan an unforgettable wedding weekend, it's available right now for free when you visit weddingweekend.co. But you've got to hurry because it's going back on the shelf next week and it will not be available again until next year weddingweekend.co to sign up and I can't wait to see you there. 